Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at how you can update background tiles in GB Studio 3.1. So before we were using GB Studio 3.0.3 and I was making the Battleship game and unfortunately putting that into GB Studio 3.1 would mean that it wouldn't work because of the GBVM script. So if we have a look on our right here you can see that we have VM replace tile and then the location 75 which is A1. The A1 is in the location 75 and then we have bank tile set 0, tile set 0 and then variable A1. Uh, and so those banks are referring to uh, when it's bank 0 it was referring to the first thing that was built which is this because I put this exclamation mark and alphabetically the exclamation mark comes first. Um, so it would build this and therefore this is bank tile set zero. Um, but in GB Studio 3.1, that is completely changed. So I've just switched into GB Studio 3.1 with this project. And if I click on this background here, um, I've made it easier for myself by making it onto a cool script event. Uh, so if we go into this GBVM grid update, we can now see that it's actually in colors. And so the actual VM script is in like a pinky red. Um, the numbers are in are in this nice blue and then we still have something relating to the tile set and banks but it's not actually referring to the first scene that's built and the and that background it's instead referring to an image so if we take a look up here um, and we look here we can see that um, this scene is using background obviously exclamation mark zero one tiles and then if we go back into here we can see it's bank and then background zero one tiles and then it says tile set and then the same thing without the bank is after that and then I've put the variable a1 again. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom of this um, all of these 100 variables we can see we've added a reference so to add a reference you obviously just press add reference and then if you have a background you can choose which one you want and then you can just click on here and then it says copy to clipboard and then you can more easily paste exactly what the what the uh, engine wants to see now let me explain how this one works specifically so in the gb studio central article basically where i had the variable of a1 it would be updating that number every frame probably maybe every few frames in order to display it as an animating thing like it has um, right here However, in mine, it's just that when the scene starts, it will take these 100 tiles that are all unique because I've written 0 to 99 in them, um, and it will update them to the values in the A1 to J10 um, variables, and therefore it will be displaying the grid using tiles from this sheet. So obviously if, it's, if the value is 0, then it will be displaying as just an gr empty grid. And then as we put down boats, it will be adding these boat pieces in and displaying boats instead. So basically when we start it up, it will replace all of these numbers with blank tiles. Or if there's boats in the position, it will be replacing the tiles with images of boats. Um, and it sounds extremely simple and technically it is, but obviously in practice, repeatedly typing in variable A1 to J10 can take a while especially making sure you have all the uh, coordinates correct um, and then obviously if you've watched my other videos the actual way of finding and putting down boats is also very complex but if you if you have just updated your project into GB Studio 3.1 this video and this article will hopefully help you get to grips with the differences between the last version and this version and if you have just jumped into GB Studio with GB Studio 3.1 definitely read this article if you want to be a uh, updating the background tiles or swapping tiles in your games. So on that note, I'll put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you very much to you guys. You guys are the best. Remember to like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you want to see in the future. Let me know if this video is useful. Obviously the article is where I got my information from, so definitely read that if you're struggling. When they updated the 3.1, I tried to figure out myself, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work, but I swear I did it exactly how the article says now. So I'm not quite sure what I was doing wrong, but obviously the article helped clear everything up and understand it completely. So on that note, again, I'll say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.